Good morning. It is that time again for another spin of the Wheel of Justice. We team up each week with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to get wanted fugitives off of our streets. Public Information Officer Max Morell is with us again this morning, and we actually have an arrest this week. Good morning, Mel. And yes, we definitely do. So we actually arrested Willis Robinson. All right. Uh, Mr. Robinson was wanted for trafficking in methamphetamine, and he also had five counts of sale or delivery of fentanyl. All right, so who are we going to feature today as so, we take him off of the wheel? Yes, ma'am. So today's feature is going to be Mr. Russell Madison, um, and he's wanted for sale, manufacture, or delivery of fentanyl. He does have a bond of 100000 He's 49, 5'11", and about 150 pounds. All right, so a thin man. Um, let's go ahead and spin this wheel and see who we land on today. All right, and we know every week that your tips help make an arrest. So who are we going to focus on? Yeah, they do. So Raymond Rice. Uh, Raymond Rice Jr., he's wanted for attempted murder, carjacking, and armed burglary. He does have a bond of $1.4 million. He's 31 years old, 5'9", 180 pounds. All right, so this is a man that you are asking if people see him, don't approach him. Give police a call um, and let you all do your work, but definitely want to try to get him off the streets. And keep in mind, there's always that Facebook page where people can go to that and see anybody who is out there. Um, it's actually on your website, right? It's, it's on the website. So it's our Unsolved Crimes page. And the Unsolved Crimes page, you can visit jacksheriff.org. Uh, click Unsolved Crimes, and you guys have the ability to go through there and actually see the individuals that we're looking for um, and that are wanted for committing crimes throughout the city. Okay, I want to point out it's on their website, not Facebook, but that's where you can peruse anyone. And if you see them, Crime Stopper is always your best bet. You can call and remain anonymous. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you for having us.